Hello friends, welcome to Shiva Academy. This video series is mainly to address the questions and the comments that I am receiving through mail or in the comment section. As a continuation of that, here is another question that I have received from one of the subscriber. First let us understand the question. See, uh, we have a table called employee and it contains information about the name, address and phone number of employee in three different rows. So in this case, in this sample case, I have taken two employees. Uh, employee number 100 with name, address and phone number and the second employee with employee number as 200 with name, address and phone number. So the expectation is we need to write a query to convert the information in three different rows into a single row of data. For example, the name should come in the second column, address should come in the third column and phone number should come in the fourth column. That means we are going to convert multiple row of data into a single row of data for each employee. Fine. Now let's see how to write a SQL for this functionality. As I always say, I would suggest you to try different ways. In this video, I'm going to show you two different ways by this can be implemented, but I would suggest you to try much more options as well. Okay, I'm creating the table with employee number, attribute name and attribute value. I'm populating information for two set of employee. Let me first query the table. Now, if you see here, we have uh, one set of information for employee 100 and another set of information for employee 200. Fine. Now, let's see our first method of writing or achieving this functionality. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to copy the column names. So let it be like this. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to use a very simple uh, decode function. In fact, you can use either a decode or case to achieve this. So I'm using decode of attribute name. If the attribute name is name, you display the attribute value. Okay, so let's give alias as name. So in one column, we extracted only the name, very similar to that. Let us extract the address and phone number. So I'm just using the address and we are going to extract the phone number. So, so now if you see, we actually extracted the name, address and phone number in three different columns, but still it is like a multiple row of information. Okay. Anyway, we are not interested in displaying the attribute and name and attribute value. So I'm just removing this. Okay. Now if you see, we have the employee information and the name, address and phone number in multiple columns, but still in multiple row. Let us aggregate this now. So either you can use the max or minimum. So I'm using a max. Since we are using the group function, we should put like group by employee number. Yeah. Now if you see, we have actually converted the information from three rows of data into a single row of data. This is one method of implementation. And in fact, this is very, very simple. Okay. So let me show you one more method of implementing the same functionality. Let's query from employee table. So I'm just selecting all the column. Select star from. So in this case, what I'm going to do, I'm going to use the pivot class for attribute name in say name address and phone number okay so this is the uh, second method of implementation in fact this is very easy compared to the first but you need to understand the functionality of pivot okay so basically we have seen like two ways by which it has been implemented one is using the aggregate function and the decode function and the second method i have used the pivot if you want to understand the pivot i have already covered in detail about how the pivot will work and for what and all the scenarios this pivot can be used uh, and the link also i have given in the description you can look into this if you have learned something new please like this video subscribe and stay tuned for new feature video interview question 
SQL practical question and concept videos. If you want any questions to be answered, you can post it in the comment section or you can drop to this mail ID. And thanks a lot for watching this video.